All right, guys, upon receiving the screen, it's gonna be boxed up very nicely, well packaged. And this is what it looks like right here. First and foremost, have your information packet user guide right on the top. And a couple of tips for you here, because this, again, is my second screen that I have reviewed by the company. Just up here is the Edge Free Akia screen as well. That video is already up on the channel, and I'll have that one linked at the end of the video and in the description box below. As with this one, the direct link is gonna be in the description box below for this screen. But here's a couple tips for you guys. You're gonna need a nice big area. Again, this is a 123 inch screen. So you're gonna need some nice room. I'm probably gonna even have to move over this coffee table as well. And then what I would do is I would go ahead and vacuum the floor, dust it off if you have hardwood floors, etc. They do give you a nice white kind of packaging mat on the top of these boxes here that I actually lay down on the ground, and then we start piecing the screen together. Just like this here, making sure you have plenty of room, lay down your sheets on your floor right there. We're gonna go ahead and build the frame, as you can see it here. And then obviously when the frame is then built, we'll prop that up, we'll roll the screen underneath. While I'm building the frame, I actually step on this with my socks, putting the joints in between these braces at the corners, and then we'll put the screen on. All right, guys, the frame is coming together real smoothly here. I do wanna show you this. So again, this is the back of it. You're working on the back of the frame on the way in. The screen, of course, is gonna be that way, but you'll be putting it face down. We'll get to that. Anyway, coming back to the brackets here. So there are a couple of little brackets that you see here. One is on the top and one is inserted inside here. Same thing for this side, up here, at the top, down here I just showed you. And let me go ahead and show you this. So you have your screws right here, like I just showed you. And then you have a bracket with smaller holes. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna go ahead and insert in inside of it right here. And we're gonna go ahead and put the other piece right in this little slot here, the interior portion. The directions do state this. And then when you do bring it together, just make sure that you're aligned here Try to get very, very minimal gap and the cornering just right. And then you're gonna take your one with larger holes and that is gonna sit in this little groove area right on top so that your holes line up and then go ahead and tighten down the four screws on each bracket. All right guys, with the frame now out of the way, you wanna be careful. I did this by myself, but it is recommending a two man job for this. You're gonna have some extra material and then the screen comes into play here. So I've rolled that out completely flat on my floor here and you're gonna have a lot of extra material there at the end as well. So here's the screen, upside down, there's small arrows right up here in the corners telling you that that is the top. You do have some markings down here for your corners right here. And according to the directions now, we're gonna lay down our frame and start piecing this together. Definitely be careful, don't crumple this screen, make sure it is nice and flat, make sure it rolls out nice and flat so that you don't damage the screen. Because they are recommending a two-man team, they have given you two pairs of white gloves as well to touch the screen so that your oily fingertips don't get on the screen. So definitely use those. All right, guys, we are almost finished with the screen here, the installation process, or putting it together, I should say. We have our center bar here. Everything is in the instructions, but I do wanna go ahead and talk you through just a few little points here. Now, the logo is gonna be up there in the top portion. It's a very thin logo, Akia screens. And then you have your aluminum pieces here that stand upright, and you do have these little end caps. So don't worry if you haven't gotten a complete sealed seam because you do have these little end caps that will hook on to go ahead and take care of that. You have springs all around the area here. You mark up your lines. As again, this is all in the directions, but I'm just kind of giving you guys a few tips here. And the springs go from the little circles up to the center edge here. And then these have brackets on the outside. So that's on the bottom. The other one is gonna be on the top and the edges, et cetera. You're not gonna be able to see that. Springs all the way around so that the screen is nice and tight. No wrinkles, completely flat. Now we have our black edge all the way around. We're gonna go ahead and latch a few more springs up to it here. Put on our other end caps on the edges. Now again, this does come with mounts as well. So you can mount this as a fixed screen should be mounted. Due to my living room, 
I will probably take down this one and put this one in place of it, but just know that it does come with the mounts. The only tool that I did need was a screwdriver. The other Akia screen actually came with that same screwdriver. This kit, I didn't see a screwdriver in there, but most of you guys have Phillips head screwdrivers. So beautiful, guys. That's a picture worth a thousand words right there. That is a good looking projector screen. We have my Christmas tree over here, my disc of golf basket in the background. We have my, of course, my beautiful guitar. Ultra short throw screen. We are gonna be testing this screen with two ultra short throw projectors. The first one we have in the box right below me. We'll get you a precise model number on that. Let's take a look a little bit closer. As you can see here, just beautiful bezel all the way around the top, very thin coming all the way around the bottom as well. Here is my thumbnail in comparison to the bezel. You have an Akia screen logo, very small at the very top there on the top right portion of the screen. This is kind of a dark gray and this is meant for ultra short throw. Is because what happens is it takes ambient light and it's absorbed and the projector light properly reflects back to the viewer's eyes. So it's gonna kick it back just beautifully to my chair right over here. Again, if you have some ambient light or even if it is dark, it's gonna be beautiful for the ultra short throw to absorb it and then dish it back to me here. Now, if you had a regular projector like this or a ceiling mount one, this screen is not best used for that. This screen is best used for ultra short throw. Ultra short throws are becoming very popular and they take up so much less space. Literally, I'm gonna be feet away from the projector screen and it's gonna go straight up at it like that. We will, of course, be showing you. Okay, so let's get projector one out and test it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is beautiful. Wow, 123 inches, ultra short throw. Look at how close that projector unit is up there. Crisp, clean colors. Wow, a high-end projector with a high-end projector screen definitely does justice. If you're wondering, this is the Vivitech, and it's gonna be one of those model numbers right there. You guys can pause it, and it's super close. I even have the Christmas tree lights on right next to it, and it looks like my budget-friendly projector when it is completely dark. This is not that bright when the Christmas tree lights are on. This lamp right next to me is on, and there's ambient light, but it looks beautiful. That screen's doing a great job. Let's take a closer look at how close that projector unit is. Again, this projector unit is pretty beefy. It's definitely wide. Here is kind of like the size of my hand here. So it is a little bit wide, but it's stealth quiet. And as you can see here, look at the space we have right here shining straight up on the screen. Look at those colors. That's absolutely Gorgeous, doing a fantastic job. These high-end projectors, what's so nice about it as well, you can mess around with the keystone, you can balance it out so it tightens it up, flip-flops it a little bit, and I could even get it more tight and more beautiful, again, if that was mounted with the proper hooks that Akia does give you so that would lay flat. That is, I'm definitely impressed. I'm looking forward to watching a show tonight, that's for sure. All right, so we don't get a copyright strike. I'm actually gonna watch my own video from YouTube. And something I did notice when I was trying to figure this out, it looks like Netflix and YouTube might use different aspect ratios. So during the viewing of this, you're gonna see a little bit more ambient light over here. Because I'm gonna be flip-flopping projectors, just ignore that. You can do keystone, you can get that properly dialed in with whatever projector you choose, but just know that YouTube pushes it a little bit more out than the main menu we just saw. Let's go ahead and view this right here. Now this is YouTube compression as well. I'm seeing as it's going down, I'm seeing a little bit of lines. So obviously a movie or television show would look much better, but this is looking pretty clean. Here is some more mountain biking. This is a GoPro Hero 8, by the way. And this projector actually has a speaker as well, so you can watch all of your shows. So I'm looking forward to that tonight here, but just taking a little look at this. Let's go ahead and fast forward to maybe a better section of the video. There's a little bit more light 
Here we go here, looking really clean. Here's a better look here. I'm not gonna play too much because I don't wanna get a copyright strike on this video, but look at the coloring on the projector screen. Absolutely stunning. This video is obviously professionally done, color corrected, but it is absolutely stunning looking on the projector screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be showing you now the light, okay? It is full on daytime here. It's about, I think, almost three o'clock in the afternoon. So we have plenty of light pouring in. And this is what the projector screen with the projector looks like. Absolutely phenomenal during the daytime. A great projector screen and a great projector make your home theater all the difference. The coloring, tremendous. Now obviously that has to do with the projector as well, but having a screen as I'm way back here, being able to take the light to bring it back to my eyeballs. Truly, truly phenomenal. We will be, of course, testing one more ultra short throw projector, but so far I'm very pleased with this screen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next projector that we have plugged in is the Mosaic Go, and I have actually already reviewed this projector. I will link that video and this projector in the description box as well. This projector is a lot smaller and does a great job as well. Beautiful coloring here as we have not only the side lamp back on, we have the Christmas tree lights on and sending a nice picture. Let's take a closer look at this projector. Give you guys a couple of different options. It's a full 1080p ultra short throw projector. And this one is a little bit more of a distance away from the screen. The other one was literally right up here, which was also a lot larger of a projector. This one is definitely smaller and does a great job as well. The other one is beefier so it will have more vibrant colors, but this one does a good job for the size. With that said, I'll leave that in your hands, whatever projector that you wind up going with, or if you already have one. The review obviously is not for particularly this, it is for the projector screen. Now we have the overhead light on here, but again, that video review is already up on my channel. But I think the colors still pop very nicely, and I'm looking forward to my show this evening. I've been just really enjoying the Christmas lights on, and I like this. Obviously, I don't want the room to be completely dark. Obviously, it will look even better, but even with some ambient light on, if you wanted to make your theater room with some nice little like LED lights on the side, you know, some like just real professional, some LED lighting on the strip through your crown molding up above. I like to sit in this chair right here. And then obviously with the screen right next to me here, viewing my beautiful Christmas tree as I'm watching my favorite show. And lastly guys, here's a shot of the Mosaic Go during the daytime here. It is a little bit cloudy, so probably not as much sun pouring in. As you can see, kind of the dark rain clouds back over there, but still looks great. So that will give you a couple ideas for those projectors. Once again, those will be linked in the description box below. Same with this projector screen, guys. 123 inches. Turn your theater room into a supersonic ultra short throw theater room. Basement, man cave, thumbs that video up on your way out if it has informed you. But just like all my videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do review. But if you have the cash and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on away. Once again, the screen, the projectors will all be linked below and also subscribe on your way out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch. We'll see you soon.